Sí, nos vamos. Your lesson is a great little old time tune, Hand Me Down My Walking Cane, here in the key of G. Largely inspired, uh, this lesson arrangement, largely inspired by Mr. Norman Blake himself, as he's well known for doing this tune. And I created two arrangements, again, in the key of G. And the first one is a nice beginner arrangement, playing the melody straight on the head. Uh, real simple, great little flat picking thing. And then the second time through is more of an intermediate style arrangement where we add more consecutive eighth notes, hammer rounds, pull offs, and we just embellish the melody just a little bit. All right, so if you'd like to purchase the full length version, as this just a preview here, you can click the link down below and it will shoot you on my website. And there you can do so. It's going to come with about 30 minutes of video, PDF tabs, and four audio backing tracks to help you work your speed up. All right. Now, if you really like the way I teach and approach learning and you want to access this lesson and over 350 lessons on all three of my courses, there's another link down there about being a premier member and for a monthly, quarterly, or yearly fee, you can access everything I have, everything I do, all the lessons I come out with. I usually uh, write up a lesson almost once a week and have been for a few years. So lots of material at the site. Give it a look if you think I might be a good fit for you. And I've got tons of songs in this style as well. Bluegrass, old time, country. So my library is full of tunes uh, such as this. So give it a look. For now, we are going to start walking through the first few measures of Hand Me Down My Walking Cane here in the key of G. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy. All right, so let's go ahead and start walking through Lay Me Down My Walking Cane <clears throat> here in the key of G. And I'm gonna play those first four measures for you, and then I'm gonna break them on down slowly. Make sure you uh, pay attention to the markings below the staff, the pick directions, that is. Uh, the staples are downs, and the V shapes are upstrokes. Always very important for executing the arrangements. All right? So yeah, here's the first few measures. It starts on beat two. That first marking is a quarter note rest, and then and then we get into um, yeah the actual notes here. So uh, one, two, three, This is a nice little beginning or advanced beginner arrangement for great for the flat picking guitars, kind of looking to get into more, you know, alternate picking notes and just flat picking styles in general. So it kind of has some a little bit of car style element elements and and then again, you know, more of the flat picking elements. So first measure there like I said we have a quarter note rest and then we um, and then the first three notes are on the G string so it's open open and then second fret and those are all quarter notes so all down strokes down strokes on down beats up strokes on up beats so one two open open two and then we're gonna take that second finger we're gonna shift up to the fourth fret on the G string make this little shape right here um, this is a G chord but I you know often referred to as an F shape and um, three on the high E three on the B and four on the G so you got a bar with the first finger back here and then this um, second finger comes on the G string so yeah it's a little G chord and I'm gonna just strum this measure I'm just gonna fill it up by strumming it in the second arrangement we're gonna do cross picking through it but here we're going to strum, so it's the quarter note first, one, and then two, three, and four. And now you see it, um, one of those notes, or one of the strums, is in parentheses. So we have a tie. It's tied over to, we don't play it. Notice there's no pick direction below it. So we are going to 
essentially hold. Now the right hand's gonna keep moving. If you watch my right hand, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. So again, I don't strum it there. You certainly could, and it wouldn't be the end of the world, but I have it written there as so. So take some time, make sure you master that little strumming pattern. We're going to see it again in this arrangement and the next one. So um, pretty common thing. All right, and in the third measure, um, we got we staying on that G string, the melody. You know, we're playing the melody right on the head, pretty basic, of course. So four, four, and then here we're going to play four and slide down to two. And use your second finger. So one, two. Those are all quarter notes, okay? All quarter notes. And then the last measure of this line, I'm going to play open G, and then fifth fret D, and I do slide into it, like a really quick slide. Um, give it a little bit of energy there. And then I'm going to bounce between the two. G string, D, G string, D. Okay, a little drone effect, kind of like banjo or fiddle would do. Measure five is also on the open G there, so I kind of finish the phrase that way. All right, so let's do that again. The first four measures in context now. So one, two, three, four, one. thing I think about um, this and maybe even the whole piece is just getting that little strum getting used to playing that strum you know going into it playing single string strumming and then coming out of it playing single string there I kind of hit some wrong strings there but so you have to be nice and controlled over here have a good understanding of that rhythm right um, you feel like you're in the pocket there but again down down high in there. I'm still keeping my hand moving though. It's always going up and down for the most part. All right. So let's move forward here. The next four measures, put them on the screen there. They sound like this. Ready, go. strumming pattern all over the place again so measure five starts with a quarter note open G and then two eighth notes on that open G and then third fret B and then open B okay pretty easy measure there one two and three four now I'm gonna finger my D and then play a second fret of the D um, sorry second fret of the G string it's an A note there, so your first finger note. And then do that same strumming pattern. So one, two, three, and four. And down, down, up, down, up. And if you get the open D in there, that's certainly fine as you strum. Um, I always kind of mark it the highest three sounding strings just to kind of tighten it up a little bit. But if you hit that open D, that is okay. Next measure, we're staying on the G string there. Uh, second fret of the G, one, and then a couple eighth notes, two, and then open G, and then second fret, back to second fret G. But let's get, let's shift out of the deep shape and get there with our second finger, okay? Because we're gonna go up, we're gonna shift up with it. So I'm, see, so yeah, I'm kind of preparing for the next move, changing my fingering up a little bit. measure this line um, something we've kind of already covered we get to the fourth fret of the G and we make that little F shape so one two three and four and one two three and four and so let's put 
put all those together and see what they sound like here. So, two, three, four. And I ended on a down, downbeat of measure nine, which is another strum just on this chord. Um, not on the screen there, but. Again, make sure in measure eight that you're getting right here with the second finger, making a shift, okay? And you're gonna, it'll make it um, easier to execute getting the next measure. All right, so let's um, let's move on. Two, one, two. 